Thank you. I want to just reiterate a couple of things. One is that we are not here to defend England for the English or Western civilization. We are here to defend the world for civilized humanity and not to defend Western civilization, but human civilization, human civilization that exists despite regressive nationalism and regressive religious political movements that exist because humanity demands and deserves justice, demands and deserves to live in the 21st century. We are here to defend those values. The far right blames Muslims for Sharia court. It blames Muslims for terrorism. When in fact, Muslims or those labeled as such are the first victims of political Islam and are at the forefront of resisting this movement. In the same way, Islamists blame Westerners. And that's why they put bombs in discotheques on our buses. They blame Westerners, they blame ordinary people. Many of them at the forefront of opposing US-led militarism and, in the, and at the forefront of defending people's rights. We are here to say stop dividing us, nationalists and Islamists. We want a world where there are, we are not divided. We want a world in which we are human beings first and foremost, irrespective of whether we are religious or not, irrespective of our nationality, irrespective of our ethnicity, many of these man-made anyway. And we are a majority. Mark my words, we are a majority. Today, we represent so many more people who might be afraid to come out because it's so taboo to speak against Sharia law and religious laws. But we will become millions, trust me, mark my world, we are already millions across the world. Just today, I got a message from someone in Pakistan who had gathered to hold up placards in defense of this rally who was beaten to a pulp by Islamists. And some of them are now in hiding. We are part of that movement, they are part of us. And as I mentioned before, in the same way that Sharia courts are an extension of the, the stonings and the hangings by cranes in city centers, the movement of people in Iran, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and us here, we are extensions of each other. We need each other. We are a majority. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that. But we need to build this movement. We are here in the 21st century today because people before us fought for things they believed in because they needed justice, they demanded it. And today we are demanding the same thing and we will win because justice always wins. But we have to mobilize that movement to do it. We have to mobilize, we have to organize, we have to tell people that we have a duty, we have a responsibility to stand up for our fellow human beings. And we won't stop, we won't stop and we will win. We're gonna push back the far right, we're gonna push back nationalism and we're gonna push back religion and political Islam in all its forms because we live in the 21st century and we want a world for ourselves, for our children that is worthy of human beings in this century. So keep in touch, stay strong and be proud of being part of this movement because it is a lot, it is a, it, is a, it is a huge movement and it's going to be so much more but it depends on us. It's not God's will, it's human will. And where we take this movement, we can succeed, we will succeed. We have no choice. We have no choice but to succeed. Thank you.